the collaboration project between myself and Stephen Paulus, the composer of our project, uh, has taken place over a two-year time fold. What's happened is that once uh, I worked with Crystal Banfield on this particular project, and we got ex when I got accepted to work with the project, I began uh, communicating with Stephen Paulus in many different facets, such as uh, email communication and phone calls, letter writing. I actually had an opportunity to fly from Florida up to Minneapolis to meet with him. I met with him at an airport at one time. I also met with him at the Mall of America, of all places. Uh, just so we could start the collaboration process. And that went through many different degrees of, um, of steps, if you would. Uh, at the first, Stephen had only written one band piece that had been published. And he is used to, perf uh, to writing for virtuosic players with you know, members of the New York Philharmonic or St. Louis or any other organizations that have performed his work, the Juilliard School. And this was a new challenge for him. He had never written for, you know, for, especially for this age group. You know, the age group that he's written for us is basically students between the ages of 14 and 18. And the Banquest project has different degrees of difficulty in the literature that they performed. But with Stephen, what we, the undertaking of him, which is a very courageous one, was actually writing for a medium he was somewhat uncomfortable with initially. So what we did is I supplied him with scores from some of the great masterworks within our medium, such as Granger's Lincolnshire Posey, Dvorak's Serenade, um, Stravinsky's Octet, different staples of our repertoire that we consider prolific in the wind world. Stephen then took the opportunity to go back and research and do some background on those composers that, um, and how they wrote for winds, specifically in percussion. And then with phone conversations, we began to work out with general ranges of the instruments within the middle school, uh, the middle school performer. And as we continued to talk and work, we found out that, you know, even though the project of Banquest began as a middle school type education project, it turned out to be have a, a wide variety base of composers and their level of difficulties. There are some pieces within the project that give uh, students at the elementary level to play and then there are other ones that there are even college and universities that find great substance in the work that's been done by these composers. One great advantage of uh, students participating in the Banquest project is they get to work with American composers who are prolific to our time period now. They're ones historically that while they're living they're producing many great works. With Stephen Paulus he's had opportunities to compose for the Juilliard School He's had opportunities to compose for the Minnesota Orchestra and virtuosos like Doc Severinsen and the principal trumpet player for the Minnesota Orchestra. What's great is our students at my two schools have the opportunity to work with that composer now in his literature and get to hear his output and experience the music that he's creating. Sometimes um, students will go through the learning process and won't have the opportunity to work with such great composers because their music is so difficult for them to perform. So when I went and talked to the Banquest project, this project afforded students the opportunity to perform works by major composers at their particular level. My band has the opportunity now to play a piece by Stephen Paulus or other members of the Banquest project. And that way they're emulating such composers such as Orff or Bartok or Hindemith by writing lesser difficult or technically demanding pieces but still offering or, or still getting the opportunity to hear the voice of that particular composer.